Hey, what's up guys? It's a Saturday here in Dusseldorf. Today we have the men's round of 16 and the women's semi-finals. So in the men's first matches coming up here, we have Harry Moto versus Pishde in great form and Fanchen Dong versus Germany's Ruin Phyllis. So some great matches coming up. Sure. I'm just the net. <laughs> Coach Wang Hao. Leading Fanchen Dong. Ruins took a seat. Oh. Turn nine up, can we take a set? Oh. Very interesting there. Tactical change going wide with the forehand of Harry Moto. Making it awkward. Harry Moto wins over Pish Day. youngest ever player to the quarter Mr. Tony backstage here after watching Harimoto. Once again, as soon as Harimoto won, everyone's running into the press area. To get a snapshot, quick interview of the main man. Or should I say main boy? Phenomenal player, causing a huge spark around the table tennis community. In the end, I tried to play better tactically, but uh, it was too late. And yeah, <laughs> well, you've had a good run this tournament. You played very well. Um, obviously, he's only 13. And what makes it difficult playing against him? He's only 13. How has he already acquired the skill to, to beat someone of your level? He, he has everything. Uh, he has uh, quite okay serve, received not so bad uh, shots. He, he has good shots, and uh, I don't know if he, his mind or he, it's uh, good enough. I don't know. Maybe he just don't think he just play what he practice, and uh, maybe it's his advantage that uh, in the head he he don't care. He just play. He show what he practice. And, that's it. Because it looked like you did try to defeat him mentally. You tried to upset the game. You probably thought beforehand, he mm, hasn't been tested yet. And I can see you tried to make this, which, which almost worked at some point. Oh uh, yeah, of course I tried uh, all the ways how to <laughs> how to catch him, but um, then referee catch me. <laughs> Huge match here in the women's singles semi final. Su <laughs> Yuling's made a few tactical changes and she's definitely looking a lot stronger than. Mm. I, actually, I actually thought it would be finished already by now. But, um, At least she went. It's going to be interesting. I, if it goes to seven, I maybe it's, it's probably 50-50. Very tough to call, isn't it? 10-8. Knew she went to serve. Oh. Whoa, this is crazy. Is that a yellow? Whoa! Game changer. I'm probably not happy with that at all. 9-10. These players would do anything to win. Oof. Oof. Took it the edge. Brutal scene. I'm sorry guys, but I missed that rally, but it was world class. All we get is the, uh, oh, actually, slow motion here on TV. Fantastic. Unbelievable stuff. As Matt Herinzi says, it'll be point of the day. Check out an ITTF. Boom. Calling it day six, point of the day. It looks like Lucia went to try and more now, though. It does look a bit more. Like... There it is. Oh. 
die Nummer 3 der Welt, die Nummer 2. Schuhjuling steht morgen um 13.30 Uhr. Ich muss gehen, geht da auch nicht, take the volunteers and officials that make this event possible. Alles gut. Alles gut. Wow. Oh. Oh. Schuhjuling, ich fange noch Japanese team, Mr. Kenny, there. Coach Wang Hao, after coaching the boys to get to the final, the men's doubles. This is pretty cool in the training hall here. Timo Bowe is warming up with a left hander. Get used to Marcus Freitas. And also, Freitas is knocking up with a left hander, Joey Montiero. Which is clever, really. There's no point in them playing against a right hander in the warm up if they're playing a left hander. So Freitas is taking on Timo Bowe in one hour's time. Massive stuff. <laughs> well done. You're looking forward to Timo Bowe versus Marcus Freitas today? I like Timo Bowe. He's very old now, but he's still good. Yeah. What would the score be? Uh, I don't know. I think I love Timo Boll, but I think he would lose. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow, I'm but afraid, yeah. It would be cool if he win. Marcus Freitas! Coming into the building! Ooh. It's Timo Boll, Germany! This is massive stuff. I have a feeling I'm going to predict it. I think we're going to see seven sets here. Full seven sets which will make this arena go absolutely insane. That's what I hope anyway. Four match points go into the quarter final where he takes on Ma Long. Crowd are going to erupt. Ball takes us. Off getting ready for his next match. Stretching. There's the main man. Timo, fantastic performance there. How did you feel in that match? Oh, I had a really difficult start. I had a lot of problems to read the service of Markos, couldn't play it short and I had also not the rhythm to, to play the, the long receives, uh, the first Thompson, Thompson's back on the table and uh, so I said to myself in the second set, just long, wait for the topspin and just put it on the table and 
start start moving, start trying, and I think this was a quite good idea because I improved and improved, and we made also afterwards some some mistakes on that, and then I was in the game. Yeah, I mean that's interesting that you found a way to try and come back by changing the game, pushing along. Yeah, of course to overcome the the top spins of the opponent is really the key today yeah? to, to come from the passive game to the to the advantage and to make pressure even when you are passive and i was working hard on it and sometimes it's working good and but yeah you you have a lot of pressure and especially in the beginning of a game you don't have this rhythm mm -hmm. and it was important that i found it somehow what does it feel like playing from such an incredible atmosphere here in Germany? So many fans cheering your name. Good feeling, yeah, of course. Uh, I'm not playing just for myself, I'm playing also for the crowd and my family and friends who are sitting in the crowd. And so I, I have a lot of motivations here. It's amazing. Obviously, you're playing your doubles teammate tomorrow, Marlon. What's your thoughts going into that match? Of course, I'm the, the underdog, so. I can play free. I played the whole tournament quite, quite free. I was relaxed, not too stiff and not too over motivated. So I just tried to risk a little bit more to, to give him some pressure and I try to make the right decisions. I have to play really a lot of different things against him. Just on one place won't be enough. So. He's the master and he has no weak points, so it's quite quite tough to play him, but I will try and try to use my little chances. From a psychological point of view, you go into the game 100% believing you can win, or do you go into the game go in, I'm going to give my best and see what happens? I'm the type of guy who just try to give the best and don't look who's your opponent, just Look on your, your own skill and... Brilliant, wish you the best luck. Thank you, Timo. Thank you. I tell you what, every single time when I go to interview Timo Bar, I get so nervous. <sighs> Obviously, he's my absolute idol, so it's, it's a tricky one, but he's a very nice and humble man who gives a lot back to people. The press in there, there's probably around 40 different journalists and he spent half an hour with them and then finally got to me and gave me a few minutes, so which is great. So Timo Bar's got Ma Long tomorrow going to be a great matchup. So for now let's check out the next matches here. We've got Samsonov versus Lee Sang Su. <laughs> Lee Sang Su, formidable performance right now. Match point against Vladimir Samsonov. <laughs> Lee Sang Su is through for the quarterfinals. <laughs>